Thank you to Benjamin Bagley, Robuddy Bub, Aiden B, G4J, PTTS, Nomicality, Pollux, and so many others for your support. I'm Manius Delosus. Today, we're looking at Arku. Now, I'm going to admit that this is my least favorite conlang for various reasons. But before we get into that, let's look at the phonology. Now, this section has changed a little bit. Instead of critiquing the consonants and vowels separately, I'm going to do them together. Also, I won't be pronouncing the sounds. Peter Isotalo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, of IPHR.com will be here. Are the concept and the vowels. Da, a, da, ka, a, ka, a, va, da, a, da, sa, a, sa, cha, a, cha, ma, a, ma, na, a, na, ra, a, ra, e, a, o, u. Boy, this is strange. Really strange. First off, the alveolar fricative is not represented by s but by C, for no other reason than a small sound change, but that could have easily been written as S. I'm not even sure if that dental nasal exists. I mean, it does, it's in the IPA, but the transcription of MG, I really don't think that's how you pronounce it. In fact, it's not. Here's the clip again. But I guess that's how we're pronouncing it now. The difference between that and ma is that your teeth touch your bottom lip instead of your lips touching each other. From now on, I'll be pronouncing the that consonant as M and N as N, unless when it proves a point. The vowels have similar problems, but not quite as severe. The back open vowel is interesting. It's strange that it's not just ah. Same with the o, just strange. Now, somehow worse, is the phonotactics. 
Ward Order is just boring, and there's no syllable shape again. The thing about not defining your syllable shape is you get things like this. So that is three consonants in a row. I mean, technically it's just two, since the T is part of another syllable, but you get the picture. So let's move on even further into this very, very strange journey. Arkham is supposed to be a language spoken by orcs, so it should have words that sound guttural or fit the vocal tract of an orc. Instead, you get a poor man's version of Klingon with some English thrown in. Instead of my normal going through vocab method, I'm gonna break down a couple sentences. But here we go. Sa akuman of vai akukwan mal amu u aktan of i arku. Vasak u davak sa suamas amal unu. Aku vai akta. Now, to translate this, we don't really have to do anything since Arkum is SVO, but that's where the similarities end. Let's break down the words. Sa is simply a word that means you are plural. Akumuan means to make with the past tense suffix added. Of means of. I wonder where that one came from. Vai akuku means to steal with the past tense suffix added. Mav is an indefinite article. Ama is the standard feminine form of arc, meaning person. It is plural. U means and. Arctan means emotion in a general sense. E means I. Oh god. Aku means people, actually. The Sark and the Vark are character names, meaning the hunter and the brother, technically sister, respectively. Moas means will have through the lens of to sit means we. Kron is a loan word that addresses a month. The earthly equivalent is January. Ku means to give. Vainaktan means south. In this context, it means something like here. Whew, that was a lot to take in. But you can see that Arkham is different from English, but the vocabulary is bizarre at times. Oh, I just said it was different from English, but why is the genitive ending of? Does it have to borrow from English? Does English even exist in this universe? I think I know the answers to these questions, but I don't. I'm not the Oracle of Delphi here. Also, the apostrophes are completely nonsensical. There's no glottal stop or any equivalent sound, so why are they there? You can't even use some Kawaii's excuse for unclear syllables. There is no reason for an apostrophe to be in this language. It's not even represented in the writing system, which is a wonderful segue into our next topic, the writing system. In the last episode, I got some comments about how the writing system didn't match the language, and oh boy, that's very true here. The writing system of Arkham is an abagida, meaning that each character represents a syllable instead of an individual sound. These kind of systems work best for simple languages with a low amount of consonant clusters. Abagidas are my favorite type of writing system, in fact. Except, Arkham has all the consonant clusters a person could ever need. This is one of the only times that I use practical means to figure out how a writing system would work. So, for a demonstration, we transition into live action. So, Arkham is supposed to be written on clay tablets like cuneiform and many other early writing systems. So, to demonstrate the writing system, I actually got clay tablets and used simple tools to create shapes and format the writing. So, here's how you write an Arkham. First, you pick your beginning consonants off a chart. Each consonant is made up of straight lines. Then, you pick your vowel. Each vowel is a combination of circular dots. Let's put the word Arkum into the writing system. We immediately run into a problem. Each character in the system represents a consonant and a vowel, in that order. So we have to add a supplement character. This character is now Ka, represented like this. Then, the R stands alone. So it must have a supplemental vowel added after it. The character becomes Ra. The Ku is just fine, but the M has to have another supplemental vowel added after it, making it Ma. So you end up with Karakuma, which sounds nothing like Arkum, but at least it looks nice. Thanks, live action me. Before we close, I want to talk about how Orkin culture was weaved with language. Orcs are supposed to be one of those classic fantasy tropes, a one gendered race. In this context, there are still male orcs, but they're very small in number. So the general word for person is supposed to use the feminine, being ama. In practice, you can see this rule was not followed. Beyond that, the orcs treat people who are strong as though they are made of fire, that explains this horrifying image, and water is a curse word. 
I'm not kidding. The reference grammar actually says that. Bro, Arkum confuses me. It makes little sense at times, and even less at others. Most of its problems come from its poorly defined phonology, but of course, the writing system isn't without blame. It sounds so much like English at times that it doesn't sound like a separate language. And sometimes it's just unpronounceable garble. It's just a bad Conway. I would rank Arkum below Akaea, making it the worst language I've reviewed so far. And I'll stay there for a good while. Join me next time when I review the language of the Rubenio Cthulhu. Los Sanyos!